The Chinese Foreign Ministry has said that India's move to add 10,000 more troops at its disputed border with China is not conducive to easing tensions. Prime Minister Modi has inaugurated the Sailor Tunnel today, that will facilitate rapid military deployments to Arunachal Pradesh. Hindustan Aeronautics will deliver the first two Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets to Indian Air Force on 31 March 2024, and the Air Force will do rigorous inspection of the delivered airframes before inducting them into service. Indian Army demonstrated its artillery and pinnacle firepower during the Bharat Shakti exercise, along with swarm drone capability. The RDO developed radar absorbing paint has been equipped on the air intakes of Jaguar strike aircraft, and the GORAF and GOTAM glide bombs, that have significantly reduced their radar signature. Garden Reach shipbuilders will launch the 5th and 6th anti submarine warfare shallow watercraft on 13 March. Big Bang Boom Solutions Private Limited has secured a 200 crore rupees order from the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army for its cutting-edge anti-drone system. Airbus has signed a contract with the Indian Institute of Management in Mumbai, to provide aviation education to professionals and empower them with industry-ready skills. An Indonesian engineer working for Korea Aerospace Industries, has leaked classified information about the South Korean KF-21 fighter jet using a USB drive. Japan has expressed interest in joining the AUKUS alliance with the United States, Australia and Britain on advanced military technology. Hindustan Aeronautics has announced the successful amendment of the 20 Tejas IOC standard contract with the Indian Air Force, which saw an increase in the contract value from 2,700 crore rupees to 5,077 crore rupees, and this amendment ensures fair compensation to Hindustan Aeronautics for the additional work involved in meeting the revised build standards of the aircraft as it saw procurement of additional components like line replaceable units, composite materials, consumables and tooling. Latest media reports indicate, that India will soon start the training of Armenian personnel on the Akash system and its radar in the next few months, while the delivery of the Akash surface-to-air missile system will start in early 2025. Armenia had ordered the Akash 1S system worth 6,000 crore rupees, which is a more advanced variant with indigenously developed seeker with enhanced target detection and interception capabilities. Kaliani Group has partnered with the French company Alcima to start development of a multi-mission long-endurance underwater glider known as Sea Explorer which will be a powerful and cost-effective solution for oceanographic and anti-submarine warfare applications. It operates as an autonomous sensing platform, silently gliding through the water column for extended periods while collecting valuable data. The Indian Air Force and Indian Army are set to synchronize their maintenance crews for common platforms in their fleets, that will optimize maintenance processes for platforms like Druf and Prachand helicopters. By combining expertise and resources, the synchronized crews will be able to improve efficiency, enhance expertise, and optimize costs. Spain's Secretary of State for Defense has said that the joint bid by Navantia and LNT for the Project 75i is now moving to the trials stage, as the technical offer has been assessed as compliant by the Indian Navy. The next step is to undertake trials of the next generation air independent propulsion system of the offered S80 plus submarine design, and Spain is willing to meet all technology transfer requirements. Today's top 3 comments.